Also a table on several configurations depending on how many poles and magnets your motor has but I will show you how it will be in my motor it has 12 poles and as we know these motors have three phases these letters represents the phases capital letters represent winding in one direction and the small letters that the winding have to be in the other direction so starting from number one in a clockwise direction we start assigning those letters in order to each pole it doesn't matter if for capital letters you select to wind in clockwise or counterclockwise direction, as long as for the small letters it's the opposite. So we start winding this stator according to the information given. We start from pole number one. To avoid any confusion on the direction of the winding, make sure every pole you're winding is pointing towards you. As you see, that's face A, represented on the red color. Now we're going to take another copper wire to start face B. and then face C. To avoid any confusion, you can use some tape to identify each terminal. After you finish winding, you should end up with six different wires. And now you have to select a termination. There are two different terminations, the delta and Y. With the delta termination, you have higher RPMs and less torque. And the Y termination, you have less RPMs but more torque. Normally, these motors have the Y termination, which is just joining or soldering together the end of each face. So that's what I'm going to do. After that, our motor is ready. So I'm going to test it and see if it works. But the final test is in the real world, using it as a propulsion system for my RC airplane.